Hi, this is Brian Reese with iClone Training for Beginners. iClone Training for Beginners. All right, this is going to be fun. Let's go ahead and switch over. First thing we want to do, when you open up iClone 8, you get this blank black screen. Mine's pretty massive. So you may have to move it around a little bit just so you all can see it. Go ahead and close it down just a tad. There we go. All right. Now, first thing we see is a whole bunch of tools across the top. What we need to do first is go ahead and bring in a, um, a character or an actor. Let's go ahead and click Contents, which is where we are right now. These are the contents. So we go ahead and find Actor. When you go to Actor, you get a whole list of things that iCloud has give, iClone has give to, given to you free. Real Illusion. So we're going to go ahead and just pick one. Let's pick Kevin Scan Avatar. All right. Let's go ahead and just drag him in. Once you drag him in, what you can do first of all, up here is actually the zoom tool. You can click that and zoom him in or pull him out. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay. The other thing is the one right next to it will be the pan key. You can move him around, up, down, left, right. Okay, we kind of want him facing us. So what we're going to do is go to the next one, which is actually the rotate or the orbit. Go ahead and turn him around like this here. All right, you can rotate back, you can rotate to the sides. Okay, once you've done all of that, you can use the mouse wheel and pull him forward. If you want to get a good look at his face, you would actually hit J on your keyboard. Sometimes you may want to make some adjustments to the face. J to the keyboard, or J on the keyboard. Okay, now another thing we can do is we can make him talk. Let's go ahead and bring him in just a little closer. Just a little closer, don't you cry. A little closer, air it extra dry. Remember that commercial? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, what we do now is go up here to where it says animation. Click on animation, go to where it says create script. Go ahead where it says record. You can either record one, you can write one out, get an audio file. We're going to go with Aculips. Aculips actually causes it to coordinate with the lips so that when he talks, his lips move at the same time. So it can align it with it. Okay. Now what we do first of all, we're going to go ahead and pull us up a, um, open an audio file. I think I have one in here. We're going to go ahead with the landlord's response from another program I was using. Okay, once you do that, then you get the Aculips program up here. You can record here. You can type in your text or all those kinds of things. But what we want to do right now is we want to generate the text that came with the audio file. Audio file. Okay, go ahead and generate. The text and it actually puts it here. If there are any that are red, you want to correct them because then the lips won't line up properly. Let's go ahead and wait for it to finish doing this thing. All right. I put in a good statement there. Okay, it's easy for it to read. Now, if you want to play it, you can actually press the button there and play it so you can hear it out of the uh, speakers and that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and... Well, I was told this had been completed. Okay, great. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so then what we want to do is click a line. A line will actually make line this up, this information up, or this information up with his lips, so that when he t when it's time for him to talk, his actual lips will actually move while we're while he's talking. Okay, good good deal. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and click a line, so it lines these up with his lips, puts in what's called vizemes, vizemes. We can adjust vizemes too. We'll talk about that in another tutorial. This one's just the basics. Like they used to say in those old old TV movies, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. Anybody remember what movie that was, what, what show that was from back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 60s? <laughs> All right. I'm an old person. What can I say? Either that or I just like old stuff. Okay, here we go. Now let's go with apply. Go ahead and apply, and apply will actually apply it to him. Now, make sure when you do this 
that you line the timeline up with where you want him to talk before you submit it. Okay, before you activate it, make sure you have it, the, the cursor where you want it to be when you want him to start talking. I want it to be at the beginning. Okay, and if you, we're going to go ahead and zoom into his face by clicking J again so you can actually see him talking and moving his lips while he's talking. Well, I was told this had been completed. I meant to call and verify the work, but I didn't, and I apologize. I'll get them up here to repair things today, and I'll stay on property until it's completed. Okay, good deal. Okay, those are just the basics. Just moving him in and out, up and down, left and right, and adding audio to him. This makes it real easy, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Thank you very much for watching. There'll be more tutorials in the future.